Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, today's message is entitled Building Scheduled Habits. You know, I do believe that a core strength to an individual is their ability to keep things simple. Don't make them harder than they are. All right, so that's what today's message is all about. Let's jump right in. All right, my goal for you is you need to be able to start your day and know exactly what you're going to accomplish that day. Don't assume it, you know it because it's written down. Be it you do it early in the morning because you're an early riser, or you do it the night before, I really don't care. But if you wake up, all right, and you have no time to schedule out your day, guess what? There's no way that day can be as productive as it would have been with a scheduled, uh, uh, scheduled events that you absolutely know you're going to do. Let me give you some tips around this. Some things that need to absolutely be in there, okay? One, let's start off with this, your health. You know, listen, we call it exercise. Let me just tell you this. Over time, if you don't take care of you and your body, it won't take care of you over time. Things start to break down, whatever that means. So you've got to have some time in there, even if it's as little as 20 minutes a day that you give to you. All right, and that is saying, you know what? I'm gonna stay healthy because I certainly can be more productive. And it also helps the way you think. What else should be in there? How about, all right, creating new business? If you don't have in your schedule creating new business each day, what's going on? Certainly the challenges you're dealing with that day, the whirlwind will come up on its own. But how do you not have in your schedule on a day-to-day -day basis creating new business, whatever that means to you? However, your what we call the DRC, okay, daily revenue commitment, if that's not in there, I'm gonna tell you something. Again, there's no way you're having as productive day as you should if you don't absolutely know how and what you're doing to create your DRC and then actually doing it. And the reason you'll do it, or more apt to do it, is it's in your schedule. Now you have to make a conscious decision to ignore it if it's written there. And that's the importance of putting these things down. Let me give you one other tip on what to put in there. You know, the world wouldn't get you, you get really crazy busy. How about controlling your day that if you want a break in the day, just because your mind needs it and you don't want the world when just sucking you all together, all right, and you getting overwhelmed, then guess what? Put a break right in there. There's nothing wrong if you say, you know what, I need an hour to melt down. I need two hours just to relax, rest my mind, and you know the way I do that? I go over to X and I sit there and I just veg for a bit. Guess what? When it's in your schedule, you won't schedule over it and you see that, you know what? For me personally, I need that time. Look, at commanding and controlling your schedule is a core need that we all have to be as successful and productive as we possibly can. And keep this in mind. As I said in the title, building schedule habits. When you consistently have your schedule and there's things in your schedule that you do on an ongoing basis, inadvertently, you're creating a habit. You know what? That exercise activity, now it's happening automatically. Your DRC, it's always there. Now it's happening automatically. All right, your break to rest your mind, it's happening automatically because you're consistent and you're creating that habit. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.